The Kerrigan Arms has been in business for more than 25 years, but it has never seen a year like the one it just endured. Co-owner Dave Tuttle describes how the second stay-at-home order affected the business. We finally got to the shutdown order. We were just kind of picking things up again and almost making it, um, but then it just shut us right down. Uh, we literally went... Uh, we, we continued on with takeout, which has been quite successful, uh, but it's not enough to crack the nut. It's just not enough. Sales dropped by 80% again. They rolled out an online platform and started a delivery service. We did the delivery ourselves as opposed to Uber Eats uh, because uh, they take 25% of your money right off the top. So I've actually been uh, Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Spy. I open and serve and then deliver food. and uh, So it's been a, an experience, but uh, hopefully it's been a positive one. I think the people we've picked up as takeout customers moving forward when we open will be customers we never had before and our takeout business will be much larger than it ever was before. During the stay-at-home order, Dave decided to take advantage of the time. They deep cleaned, put in new flooring, restained all the woodwork, and painted. Friends and staff helped with the rejuvenation, helping to keep the costs down. It was heartwarming. It was very nice to see people step up and offer their time and help like that. Uh, so it was great. Since the region moved into the red zone last week, regular customers are thrilled to be back. It's nice to be with our friends again. Uh, you can't do this uh, over Zoom or over the phone. And as much as we like to stay in touch, to be able to do this, sit in, and have a meal together is so heartwarming. And just, just being together is uh, the renewal of a tradition we have when we used to come here on a, a weekly basis. And when that stops, it's, uh, it's, it's frustrating. We've been steady, like we're often steady throughout the day with 10 people, which is the maximum you can have in here. Uh, we have to turn people away all the time. Already today we've turned away five or six people because we couldn't accommodate them. Uh, so it's unfortunate that it's only 10 people. Uh, most of the restaurant industry and a lot of people feel it should be based on percentage of, of your occupancy and being able to maintain the safe distance. It'll be interesting to see what happens tomorrow and the weeks moving forward if we move out of the red zone into the orange. Uh, that would be huge for us. Dave shared that while he appreciates the financial subsidies offered by various levels of government, the time it takes for the payments to actually go through has been challenging. Hi guys. Hey Dave. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.